Joy, joy, joy. This is Swami, the Orange Cowboy. Interviews from the Cyprus International Film Festival 2018. And today I'm interviewing Thalia Alexiou. Welcome, Thalia. Thank you so much, Swami, for having me. Tell us about your film that will be at the festival. The film of the festival, it caused the 49 years after. And it has two characters there. The one is Sophia, who is she's a clairvoyant therapist. She's a therapist, a traditional therapist, but she also clairvoyant from her child. She has a child as a client okay. who is the mother brought to her office and she is clairvoyant. The father doesn't believe her. He thinks she should go and see psychiatrists and on and on. Okay. And it's unfolding a beautiful story. The client, Annie, is unfolding Sophia's youth as a child and her own experience as being for a boy. And Are you saying that as the client, the young girl starts to develop her therapy session, it awakens the, the therapist's own childhood memories? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So uh, little Annie will just bring memories to Sophia about how she sees unseen people because her sister will not be able to see or somebody else and her mother will not believe her. So she was pretty much abused. And then Annie has an uh, invisible friend also, who is, his name was Andrew. Oh, okay. Okay. So the both were just sharing this experience, but Sophia, the therapist, is very comfortable to listen to something like that because she is like that. Okay. And what is her story? What is the storyline of Sophia, the therapist? Sophia brought a lot, but one of the most major she remembers of feeling uh, to go under her great-great-grandmother's deathbed when she was dying, and she find bones of a human uh, body, but she didn't know at the time she was only five, which later on she find out um, she has dreams for years about this little boy crying, asking for his mother, mm -hmm. and, um, and how... Um, the grandfather told her the story. The little, the bones belongs to a little boy of one of the many Jewish families. He was helping to go from the island of Rhodes, Greece, to Turkey to avoid the the slaughter of Hitler uh, at so the time. The, so Annie, the therapist, in these sessions with the little girl, she's remembering this of her childhood when she saw the bones for the first time? Sophia is the therapist and she's the one she's Sophia, remembering. Sophia, okay, thank you. Um, so so Sophia I guess, is remembering through her own helping the little girl, she's remembering her childhood. Yeah, never forgot that story. You never forgot that experience. You right. just, you know, going on with life and be a therapist, she doesn't talk about it anymore. Right. So, but Annie, the little girl, her client, he brought a lot of his memories back. Okay, okay. And what is the little girl's storyline in the film? She has a friend, his name is Andrew, who is nobody can see except her. It's an unseen friend, but it is real because it's not such a thing, it's, it's an imagination to me. And uh, so she is the little boy, Andrew, is crying and he wants his mother to go to his mother. And he's asking Annie, who is just only seven years old, to help her. Oh. So between the therapist and Annie, the, the, the client, we both help Andrew at the end okay. to go and find his family. Very good. Very interesting. And it sounds very mystical that how this all unfolds. Has there been any mystical experiences as you filmed the, uh, made, made the movie? Yes. Uh, when uh, Petra, which is uh, my partner, uh, uh, a co-writer and, um, and, and a, an excellent friend, she was here in, um, in New York at uh, November. And um, she went to Weft in one of the meetings, Women in Film. I was invited to, and I could go, so she went there by herself. We didn't know how we we're going to go about to to do the the proof of concept, 
everybody wanted money. They were in, you know, organizations and unions and acting unions. And so what um, I was just meditating and I was asking the question, what it will take for us to have everything gifted. Uh So Petra met this woman who is, she's a producer to her own movie and director and she has the professional camera and she offered to help Petra to help us. And then we find an excellent, a Greek background actress, Eleni Lucas, uh-huh. and we find two children who is the parents were delighted uh, to do. They were students of acting school. Uh-huh. Everyone, it was donating their time, their generosity, their kindness. Yes. It was it was a tremendous time. And, and it was 14 degrees below uh-huh. that day at right. Central Park. And, and nobody complains. I was the only one. I, <laughs> I, it was frozen. <laughs> uh, is this film complete now? Where does the film stand? The film it has two proof of concepts. Okay. The script, of course, is done, and we have two. So, and we are invited from with. Uh, they're going to play the, the both of them, the both proof of concepts, uh, the September 27, 2018. And where is this? What, September. What is, what is the company? What, you said WIF? Yes, WIF is the ones they promoting. And what does that mean? WIF means Women what? in film. Oh, okay. Television, yeah. And when is the film festival in Cyprus that you'll be at? It will be June 23rd to July 3rd. Okay. And it's also it's going to be a master class there, and I am one of the teachers. All right, very good. And we have you talking about that master class you're teaching in another interview. So yes. look around, folks, and uh, you'll you see Talia again here in these. I days. invite everybody to come there because it's so beautiful. It's sunny all day. The, the ocean is beautiful. The food is unbelievable. The people are so friendly. It's really, I, I've been in a lot of, you know, of um, festivals. This is very, very unique. And Petra is doing a fantastic job. All right. So everybody come on out. We'll see you yes, at the Cypress you <laughs> International Film Festival 2018. Thalia, thank you so much for taking time to share with your movie. Thank you so much for having me. God bless.